Hi, I am your coach Sophia. In this video, I am going to explain how you can set up drop-down listings in T3. You need to first choose the drop-down that you are looking to view or modify. You can simply input the drop-down name or select from the given list. Let's select country drop-down, here you can find two pre-configured values. You can either change the given values to suit your need or add new values. Let me add one country to this list by pressing add button, here two fields are given, value and description. If you follow code and description then you can input code in the value field and give a name in the description field. It is advised that you can simply follow names and keep the same value in both fields. This will help you easily select even if the system displays either values or description. You may press the save button if you wish to remain on the screen and add more values. If you are done then press save and close button. You can resume at any time by reopening the application and selecting the drop down. Certain drop downs have a parent child relationship, for example, city and country. When you select city, it automatically displays the select country field which is a parent drop down to city. However, this is not the case with other drop downs. Let's have a look at country drop down once again or work location where we do not find this field because they do not have any parents assigned to them. The parent child relationship between drop down listing is predefined and end users are not allowed to make any changes to this. Work location drop down has two pre configured values and I need to add more work locations in the drop down listings. But first, let's go back to city dropdown in order to add a city that is missing from our list. As required in this case, I am going to add Perth in the city dropdown and select Australia using the select country field which is a parent dropdown to the city. I am simply maintaining the same information in value as well as the description field. You can continue to add as many as cities you want by simply pressing the add button. There is no limit to the number of values you can add to these dropdown listings. You can save this record and continue to add values in other drop-down lists. There are different ways to choose your drop-down list and we have already tried using input drop-down name and quick list options. This time, I am using the comprehensive list to find the work location drop-down. You have full flexibility when it comes to managing your master data listings in T3 workforce, you can add values and change these values later in whatever way you like. I need to add two missing work locations so here I am adding the first work location which is Sydney office, and the moment I click on the value field, it is indicating the maximum characters that I am allowed to add. It is not necessary to save every time if I am adding more than one value in the same dropdown. Sydney office is added to my list and I am also adding Perth office to the work location list as needed and since I have added both locations, I can now press the save and close button to complete. This is all we have in this training video. Thanks for attending this session.